What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of, Odin of Minecraft with me, your boy Iggy. Today, I figured we would start by going out here and uh, doing something about all these horses in this field. Because eventually, well, pretty soon here, I'm going to be wanting to build something out here. And uh, having all of these horses just kind of free roaming is not ideal. Uh, at some point, I would like to build a neat little stable for uh, animals and the like. And I would also like to uh, have a decent horse, maybe do some horse breeding at some point. So, yeah, I figured we would get a, a little pen set up somewhere, just a temporary one. So I've got my uh, walls right here and a saddle. And uh, I figured we would tame a bunch of these, uh, tame a bunch of these horses and kind of get them somewhere out of the way. That's our uh, spawn chunk right there. But, yeah, so... Not really sure where I want to put this pen just yet. I mean, this is kind of a nice little... Hmm. You know what? For the time being, we'll... Uh, uh, you know what? We'll just stick it right up here. And then we can easily... Since we'll be able to ride the horses, we can easily uh, move it later. So let's see. We'll just get this kind of cleared out. We're going to need a decent size little pen so they're not too crammed in there there are quite a few of them roaming around in this field so let's see we'll just go yeah that looks good oops All right, perfect. And the nice thing is the uh, horses can uh, jump, usually pretty decent. So shouldn't we can just jump in there and then uh, how am I going to get out? That's the question. Do I have any wool on me? I do not. Mm. Didn't think this one through. Well. You know, I actually don't think horses can fit. Yeah, I'll just do that. And I can just fly out the other side. All right, so let's go get some. Uh, let's go get some horses. Actually, I guess if I put that there, I should be able to make that jump. So we'll just put these here, and uh, yeah, let's get to it. Uh, horse montage. Well, this one, pretty quick, but not a lot of health and a uh, terrible jump. Oh, no, you can't get out, can you? Okay. Oh, goodness. That's... I have to do it my original way. And I left the saddle on the horse.
Alrighty, well, I would say that is uh, just about all of the uh, horses that we need. And we actually got a couple then here that are not too bad. Um, one of them was a really good jumper, and we had a couple that were really speedy. So I'm definitely interested to see uh, later on when we get to it. Is that one that I missed? I missed one. But when we get to it, uh, what kind of horse we can breed up. But yeah, I think it'd be cool just to have a you know stable over here somewhere that you know we keep some keep some horses, you know, maybe a couple other you know, random animals. Bring back a uh, mushroom cow, maybe that could be cool. Get a uh, ooh, see if we can get a brown one. Ooh, this guy's fast. Ooh, and his jump is not bad. All right, so you know what, you're you can keep your you can keep a saddle. I want to keep the saddle on you, so I remember that you're one of the the speedy boys and then I, I think it was one of these other ones uh, like the darker ones that were uh was a really good jumper so that will be good um so now that we got the horses out of the way i was thinking maybe somewhere back here we do uh oh well, that lands a little a little rough i was thinking about either doing uh some sort of stone generator somewhere or cobblestone generator slash stone generator but hmm not really sure where to put it so you know you know let me go look at the footprint for uh this thing real quick do a quick cut and uh see how big it's gonna be and then we'll, we'll kind of decide where we're gonna lay things out because somewhere over here i would like to get a tree farm but those are rather large or at least the one that i'm thinking about designing is rather large so that being said um hmm I would like to get buildings in this area, so maybe we'll put the tree farm just over here around around the back and then do like the stone mason building over there. I think that could actually work out kind of nicely because we don't really see back here too much, but it would still be rendered in with uh, when we're in our storage building and all that good stuff, so the trees would actually grow. And I mean, we've got the timbers plug in so we can chop them down easily, but... Uh, you do still have to be nearby for them to actually uh, grow. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, look at the footprint for the, um, the stone and basalt generators that I had in mind and uh, see how big those are going to be. See how big those are going to be. And then uh, we'll kind of determine what we're going to do for uh, today's project, whether it be that or, you know, our little tree growing area. Either way, it's going to be a fun time and uh, we're going to build something cool. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, so we got the horses moved, and I figured we would uh, finish off by getting in a stone generator and uh, possibly a basalt generator for the overworld here. And I figured this would be a good little place to uh, put it if we actually fly back here and take a look. You can actually land, just let me land on the roof. You can actually see it'll give us a nice little way to fill up some of this area right here in between our uh, nether portal building and our uh, farm building and kind of complete the city and then we can or add to the city and then we can start getting some more buildings and whatnot in here and kind of have it wrap around and cut through the back and all that fun stuff so figured right here would be the perfect place for this and i figure we would start with uh the basalt generator and actually I grabbed the things for the stone generator, so let's go ahead and put all of this back first. Uh, yep, yep, yep. And then go to this one and grab all of our goodies that we're going to need to construct this thing. Uh, I believe I only need one piston, technically. Do you need the one rail? And we'll grab the cobblestone. And then the stairs, we... Yep, we're going to need the lever. Okay. So for this particular build, um, we're going to want to build it facing north or south. I found that the mine carts can be a little wonky if you do it um, otherwise. But since I'm going to be using a haste 2 beacon for this, let's kind of distance ourselves from the thing there a little bit. So we'll start probably right... 
gear. And that's where we're going to put our double chest. And then we're going to come out one, two, three, four. I think four is good enough. And actually, that's a little bit close to the building there. So let's move this back to like so. Break that guy. Put it there. Grab that one. Put it there. Take a little nappy nap. Perfecto. And then we are going to grab our hoppers and we're going to go one, two, three, four. Yeah, we need four for this one because we're going to be staying. Okay, perfect. So, actually, I have one extra hopper minecart that we're not going to be needing and one extra hopper that we're not going to be needing. We'll just dump that in there. Okay, so now that we've got this, we are going to want to get some. Uh, Actually, before we do that, you're going to grab your rail. You're going to place it on the hopper like that, shift place. And then we're going to place your minecart on the rail, break the rail, retrieve your rail, place your rail, place your hopper minecart, break your rail, retrieve your rail, place your rail, place your hopper minecart. Break your rail, retrieve your rail. And then we, that's right, we place our rail, we place our hopper minecart, we break our rail, and we retrieve our rail. And because the rails are not under there, these things will not happen to get bumped and make a ton of uh, minecart noise, which is super annoying to listen to. So that's a good. And then we're going to line both sides of these with some cobblestone like a so very nice from there we are going to get our building blocks and we are going to whoops not meant to be there outline this like this so boom come across do the same thing all right so we've got that and then we are going to grab a crimson stem Place it right there. This can be a crimson or a warp stem, or it can be the, uh, the strip version or the wood. It just has to be wood, preferably wood that doesn't burn. I mean, I have a uh, fire tick turned off, so I wouldn't have to worry about this. But if you're a uh, fire spread on, you definitely don't want that to be uh, a burnable block. So everything should be looking good so far so now we'll take our soul soil and we're going to place that above all four of our mine carts like that and then we are going to actually with a temporary block come up one and then another one and we're going to come all the way across to the front of our uh first soul soil like that and then we'll get underneath and put a piston piston and a piston technically uh i need one more piston but that's okay we can just reuse one so we're going to push those down like that and then we can actually take that guy back place him right there get our lever back place it right there like that so now uh your uh, soul soil should be pushed directly on top of the minecart, which will make it really easy for it to uh, collect. So now we can get rid of all of that. Very nice. Looking good so far. And now we are going to come around and build all of this up. So boom, 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 and boom. So now we've got... This going on right here and then we can take our blue ice i believe goes like that Alrighty, fantastic and then we are going to want to close the top of this off so we don't lose a bunch of blocks and you might as well cover up the blue ice and then we're going to need a lava bucket And actually, did I grab the stairs? I did not grab the stairs. We're going to want those stairs. Uh, wait. Uh, yeah, the stairs.
stairs were for this one. Okay, so grab our stairs, grab these lanterns. And then we're going to put an upside down stair right there so we can get into our chest. And then we can actually go ahead and place uh, upside down stairs like that. Like that. And then to light the build up a little bit, we'll just do some of these. Boom. Very nice. All right. So now you should have something that looks like this. And we will hop up and place our lava bucket right there. And as that flows, that should, boom, convert into the uh, basalt forest. And then we can just go ahead and cover that up, make it look real nice. And then we'll get a, another lantern. And I uh, guess we can just plop that right. Eh, we'll do it right. I guess we'll put one there. That works. And then, so hypothetically, we should just be able to uh, do that, and it'll come back, and then we do it again, and it comes back, and we do it again, and we collect our basalt. So that is how you do a uh, super simple, easy overworld uh, basalt generator. And the uh, dimensions here are important that you do it, you know, with the four pieces, because if you... Uh, because this right here makes it so our reach can only go that far. So you're not worried about hitting the end and accidentally uh, poking a hole in this thing. So pretty sweet design. Overall, I'd give that a satisfaction. Satisfaction guaranteed. So just going to do a brief cut. Make sure I've got everything for the next bit that we're going to do. And uh, then we'll get started on that. So we'll see you in just a sec. Alrighty, so next up, we are going to do a stone slash cobblestone uh, generator. Pretty much just depends if you use a silk touch or not, which is great because it doubles as a uh, two-in-one type farm. So I think we are going to, let's see, first we'll put out our outline. So it's going to be four in the front, like a so. And then we need this to come back. Oh, okay, so if it's one, and then these two are going to end up coming out eventually. So let's chest. Uh, I'm trying to remember how to do this. So we're going to do something like this. All right, so you've got two blocks, chest, gap, block, and then we are going to get our hoppers, and we are going to go one going into the chest two three four and five and then we are going to continue this back and around like so and then i believe we fill these in and then on the rest of these we come up by two all the way around Now we should have something like that. And then we are going to put block there, 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 there. And uh, well, first off, I need sleep. Okay, and then what you're going to want to go ahead and do is bring your slab and place that above your chest right there. This actually needs to come out one more, and actually I guess we can go all the way. And then you're going to get your trap door and place that on the upper half of that block so you can get in here. This one, uh, yeah, we should be good. So we're not going to need the... Uh, Hyphae piece after all, and then we're gonna need to get on top of this thing. So we'll do one of these. And now we got to get water sources along all of these, including this front bit of the chest. So grab our water buckets and place one there and one there, and that should make the middle one a water source. And then you can place one there because these all need to be water sources. And whoop one there so that is waterlogged 
and that will all flow forwards onto the, uh, the chest bits here. And then right on top of the, um, hold on just one second, my phone is ringing. Okay, sorry about that. So yeah, you will place a block above your uh, uh, trap door there. Then up here, we are actually going to need our lava buckets. And I think you could probably do this with just one bucket, but I'm doing it with all five, so they're all lava sources. So we will place one, well actually I think it has to be flowing lava. So we'll place one here and one here and that should generate stone yes it does so then we can stand here with our uh silk touch pick and it'll just go down the end and make cobble oh and occasionally you'll get cobblestone okay something's wrong here why is this generating Okay, there we go. So now it's generating the uh, stone like it's supposed to. Hmm. You know what? Let's try taking one of these out. We're going to remove you. Let's see if that makes a difference. All right, well, it works for the most part. I'll have to like diagnose and see if I can figure out what is going on with uh, why it's doing the cobblestone sometimes. That might just be the fact that it's uh, struggling to keep up because we are using the um the beacon so actually the beacon might be the issue so either way uh we'll probably have our own little beacon tower over here specifically for this building because that can't stay there and that way we'll just dump a beacon on it if we need it for let's say like the basalt here or if we are just doing uh stone or cobblestone then we can just pop that off and do this one. I may even look into uh, upgrading this to a design that is made for the beacon, but that'll have to be uh, in an upcoming episode because I think this is where we're going to have to end this one for today. So thank you for joining me. As always, uh, don't forget to like the video, comment. I love reading your guys' comments. Get subscribed and hit that bell button so you're notified every time a new video comes out. Check out my Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon. All of them are at IggyHaxer. Hope to see you there. And we hope to see you in the next video. You have a great day. Bye-bye.